all right so they added a couple of new potions in this update and i'm going to show you guys what each and every one does and as we go down the line i'm going to show you guys the recipes each one i'll put them up on screen and let's just get into it i have two of each so that we can see if you can drink them before battles the stimulating brew says a large vial of liquid that weakens your immune system in exchange for enhanced flow of your magical circuits uh, you can drink this before fights all it does is it gives you a pretty big defense down look i'll drink it it gives you a pretty big defense down but it gives you an energy up and it gives you like like a pretty damn good damage up like uh i'll just go into a fight real quick drink an alluring you can also drink it during fights but i'd recommend drinking it before fights i think the buff lasts like three turns i'm not too sure it should last about like three turns but you can drink it before fights. Look, I gained two energy instead of one because it gives you that energy up. Uh, let me just kill one of these bandits to make the turns go by quicker. Just making the turns go by quicker so that I can show you how many turns it lasts for. Kill this other one. Yeah, so it's been two turns. And yeah, on the third turn it goes away. So that's how long it lasts for. All right, next up we got the energetic soul brew, which I'm pretty sure you can't use outside of fights. It says a large vial of liquid that overstimulates your magical circuits to allow extra power. What this does when you drink it, let's see, uh, yeah, it counts as a buff. It takes away all of your energy and it buffs your damage. I'm not sure if it buffs the damage more dependent on how much energy it took away, but yeah, you fully can't even use energy. You can't meditate. And let's just try to like, see what the damage up is like it doesn't seem too crazy because he blocked that attack i would have done like what 44 damage if he hadn't blocked it oh no like more like 54 but it's still nothing i don't think it's too too good it literally lasts one turn i mean let's see if we can drink it i mean you can drink it outside of a fight and it will give you a damage up okay but it only lasts for one turn and it locks off your energy for the duration it's on so i don't think that one's too good all right, next up we have the Rejuvenating Elixir, a large vial of liquid that clears status ailments. This one is supposed to make it so that it's basically just a secondary self-cure. Even if you can drink it outside of a fight, there's no point because you don't have status ailments outside of a fight. Uh, it essentially is just another self-cure. Like, I think it's gonna, I think it's pretty damn good. Um, it's not too expensive to create either. You can just drink it and lose all your status effects. Also, I still have that energetic soul brew on from the from when I drank it outside of the fight. Let's just try to get like bleed or something so I can show it to y'all. I'll just cut to that real quick. All right, so we have three stacks of bleed. Let me just use this rejuvenating elixir. And it did it count as a buff or anything? I don't think it counted as anything actually. So yeah, that's pretty damn good. That's just a secondary self-cure. You can just like drink another one right after. I don't think it, oh, it counted as a buff. It counted as a regular buff, yeah. So it's basically just a secondary self-cure, acts instantly, doesn't even do damage to you. I don't really see why you wouldn't, you know what I mean? Let's get into the next one. All right, so next up we have stone skin. It says a large vial of liquid that turns your skin to stone temporarily. Um, I'm pretty sure what this one does is it increases your defense. Let me drink it. Yeah, you can drink it outside of a fight. You can drink it outside of a fight. Essentially what it does, it, it just, yeah, you can't block or anything. Look, it doesn't even give me the quick time event, but I'm taking like no damage. Do you see that? Let me, um, I can't guard. Oh, wait, let me guard it. Let me guard. Dude, <laughs> that dust burst just did like 1.4 damage. Yeah, I'm taking literally no damage, and I'm pretty sure it lasts for two turns. Let me meditate to see if I'll take. Yeah, you can you take you take a little bit of damage if you meditate, but it's still nothing crazy. Yeah, it lasts for two turns, and you can just drink it up in the fight. Two turns where you can't you can't really um, dodge at all, but you get def a huge defense up. Yeah, it, it like it really doesn't do much damage. All right, let's move on to the next. All right, and we have the Radiance Elixir. I'm sorry, I do not have the recipe for the Radiance Elixir. Um, I did hear that there's like a duplicate in it. So there's going to be like two of one ingredient in the recipe. And it likely has a Resplendent Essence in it. I'm not too, too sure on that. Essentially what it does is it adds a third slot 
to your character so you can use a resplendent essence and then you can use the radiance elixir to get a third free slot but the main thing it's for right now is its trade value it is the rarest item in the game people will overpay like crazy for it and that's why i'm giving it away all right all i require you to do is subscribe and i'm gonna be doing the giveaway in my discord it's gonna be in this like channel called like special giveaway i'm gonna be doing the giveaway there but just join up bro you might win it if you do i'm telling you bro people overpay a lot for this what i had to pay for this radiance elixir and i i got it from a, a fan i had to give him uh like five chaos orbs five shifting hourglass five uh narthanas five stellions bless zero imprint bless zero um dragon and bless zero uh i think like something else i forgot but the description is a glowing elixir of incredible power it emits a pressure that feels as if it pulls on your soul yeah so if y'all want to join that giveaway go ahead and subscribe and join the discord and i'll see y'all in the next one man